Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over a practical use for the new indicator that I've made for TradingView. Um, as you can see, you've got a string of S's and you've got a string of B's here, which is uh, potential high points, uh, selling pressure coming in, and potential low points, buying pressure coming in. Um, and we've also got the OBOS alert down below here. You can see it's just little spikes here. And uh, I'll show you how I go about using that um, in this practical use. What we're going to go over here is the CL which is the crude oil and how you can use the crude oil to determine um, lower gas prices or high gas prices and how to save the money at buying gas during the low points and not at the high points. Taking that money that you can save, which may be 10, 20, 30 bucks per month, depending on how, much, how often you fill up your car and um, using that money to purchase options at potential high points and low points. Uh, so you're saving on your gas bill, using the savings to purchase some options to make money. Um, that's kind of the point of this. But I'm gonna show you another website as well. So let's get started. I'll first go over the indicator that I have. It's a proprietary indicator. It's a little bit of math uh, showing potential high points and low points in TradingView. Um, it is only available in TradingView. I'll post the link in the description if you're interested in it. Um, it I offer it for about 10 bucks a month. Uh, but let's get into what I am talking about here. So we're on the CL, which is the crude oil futures. And with the crude oil, oil futures, you can see I've got some uh, gas prices at low points and high points here. So what we're going to be doing here is I want to be buying gas at the low points and not at the high points. So when we get down into this low point, you can see um, I'm in Canada. So the 141 is actually $1.41 per liter. At, that was the price of the gas at this point. So when it's coming down, I'm going to get alerted. I've set up a couple horizontal alerts. So as this is coming down and we get the B, it's going to have crossed down here. And when it crosses down, you're gonna see on my alert, it says gas prices are low and dropping. So those gas prices are low and dropping if I need to fill up my car or just throw a little bit of gas in, I will. It's no problem because the gas prices are low and they're dropping right now. Now, as we get a spike back up here, I'm gonna get an alert that the uh, gas prices may start going up. So at this point, depending on what the gas prices are at, I wanna make sure that I fill up my gas tank and maybe a jerry can or two at this point so that I can I can uh, go through the next week or two if we don't get another drop. So as we as you can see it's come up and gas prices rose. If crude's rising, gas prices is rising and I'll show you the correlation here pretty soon on another website uh, that you can use and you can find cheap gas in your area in uh, within North America. Uh, so here you can see the gas price was one or a buck forty-eight. Okay, so if I've got to fill up my car at a buck forty-eight, I'm going to be using it with my jerry cans. Okay, because I don't want to be spending a dollar forty-eight per liter to fill up my tank. And then as we're coming back down, you can see the gas prices are going to be decreasing as well. So instead of using the, another jerry can here, I'll just use the uh, pump prices and. Let's just go over the alert that I have as we're coming up. I'm going to get alerted as we spike up through here. You can see that uh, the candles are crossing, uh, alerts crossing up, gas prices are high and rising. So if I got to fill up my car, I'll use the jerry can. If I don't have a jerry can, then I'll just put a few bucks in uh, to tie me over for a few days or a, um, or a week to see if we can get some lower gas prices. A couple days would be good because even on this spike down, gas prices would have come down at a cheaper price if I didn't have a jerry can. So as prices came back down, you can see I get another alert. Gas prices may start going down, which is good. This is what I want. If gas prices are cheaper than what I would have gotten on my jerry cans, then I will fill up at the tank. And then as we come back down, we got some string of bees here. Uh, the gas prices at this area was a buck 25 per liter. Okay, so I'm gonna start filling up my car here. And as you can see, I've got my alerts going to be going off. As it crosses down, prices are low and dropping. This is great. And then again, as it 
uh, crosses back up here, gas prices may start going up. So I'm going to check the gas prices and fill up some jerry cans again at this uh, at this point, so I can withstand the uprise. Okay, so this is how I've got this set up um, with the alerts on crude oil. Now, in order to find the cheapest prices in your area within North America, what we're going to do is go to a website called GasBuddy, GasBuddy.com. Now, to get to it, you're going to go just from uh, the main website here they got at the top gas tools you're going to go to gas price charts and you're going to be on the same one as me here now you can see i've got it listed to absford bc and let's just get it set up so that you can see the exact same that i've got because you're going to want there's different areas you've got the u.s average you've got the canadian average and you've also got um, a lot of the places within the states and uh, canada here that you can find your own place. So I'm gonna keep it to Abbotsford. And then down below here, you can see if you're in the States, you can put it to um, dollar per gallon here, and it's gonna change the right hand column here. And you're gonna see it in gallons, uh, the prices in gallons. I'm gonna keep it at the liters since I'm in Canada. Or in Canada. And also, you're going to want to show the crude oil price. Okay, click on this, and you're going to get the crude oil price in orange here. Okay, and you can see how the correlation is between gas prices in my area and crude oil. Crude oil goes up, gas prices go up. Crude oil goes down, gas prices go down. All right, now the another thing that I'm going to show you is that's nice. And that's good that I can see that I want to buy prices or gas within my area at these points, these low points. But where in my area is the best place to buy gas at the time I'm going to buy gas? Now, the next thing you're going to do is same thing in Gas Buddy. At the top, you're going to go to the gas tools and you're going to go on the gas price map. Okay. Now you're going to go to the area that you're in. And since I'm near Abbotsford here, it's going to show up a map of all the gas stations that are around in your area with the prices. And you can see, I'm not going to go over here and just pay a buck 35 when I can go down here and pay a buck 21. So obviously, I'm going to stick with the dollar 21 and take that savings. That's a, um, about a 14 cent savings. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but over time, it will be. And when you utilize that, take that money and start buying options at the at the lows and highs to make the money to buy your gas. That's an even better concept. Uh, I'll get into that later on in a different video. But this is just how you can go about finding cheap gas in your area and using crude oil to help determine the ebbs and flows and gas buddy uh, to show you the correlation and to find the best place in your area at the time of getting the gas so that you're paying the cheapest amount. I'm hoping this video helps people and I will do another video showing how you can um, use the money that you save buying your gas at cheap and then start buying call and put options to make the money to purchase your gas so it's not coming out of your own pocket. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.